Hey, it's the Recipe Dude again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy tomatillo salsa. I'm getting a lot of tomatillos in the garden, and I also have some serrano peppers, which I'm going to use today. Um, I usually use jalapenos, but serranos are what I have fresh, so that's what I'm going to use. Also, you need onion and a pinch of salt to flavor, and that's pretty much it. And this is how you do it. So I got a tomatillo, a little hard to do one-handed. Don't have any helpers today. You peel the outer layer of it out, off, and just drop it in some water. When you drop it in, you want to be careful not to splash yourself, because you know, that could probably hurt. This is what a tomatillo looks like before you take the wrapper off. If the tomatillo is too dark green, you don't want to use it yet. You want to let it um, ripen a little more. This is what I got out of the garden. See, it's a, a lighter green, almost a little yellow. Put it in, and I'm going to do the rest of those, and I'll get back to you. All right, so I got the tomatillos in the water, and the water is starting to boil. What I have here is I quartered and peeled one regular yellow onion. I'll put that in the water. Once again, making sure not to splash. It's good to drop it away from yourself. Um, this is my serrano pepper. I have chosen to seed and devein the inside. I left a little vein to have a little heat. I'll drop both halves of that in there. Now normally I would just leave that in because I like the flavor, but since my kids are going to eat this with us, um, we need to make it a little mellower. Um, we're going to put it on tacos or something, but you could definitely put it on a burrito or whatever. Alright, so it's cooking away. You're going to want to let it boil gently, not at a super rapid boil, for about, I would say, five minutes. You want to watch your tomatillos, make sure they're getting tender, and once they start to split, that's when you're going to want to stop cooking. That's when they're, they're tender enough. The onions and the, and the jalapeno or the serrano, like I used this time, peppers, will, um, they'll cook just enough to be soft. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to strain it all and put it straight in the blender, add some salt and blend it up, and then you have your salsa. Now, a quick hint for the day. After you de-seed a hot pepper, uh, do not rub your eye with the finger you use to do it. That is something I just did, and a little rookie mistake, and now my eyeball will be burning for a few hours. Um, you can see it's starting to get pretty rapid, so I'm going to turn it down because it's cooking a little too hard for me. You can see p tomatillos like this one right here aren't really moving around, so you're going to want to take a spoon or something and move it around just because that part will not get as tender and then it'll actually create a chunk in the, in the salsa which won't be as enjoyable. So I turned off the light over the stove. I thought I was kind of washing it out a little. This way you could see what it looks like when it's done. So I take the, the strainer and literally just strain it to try and get as much water out as we can. And then I move it straight in and drop it straight in the blender. I'm going to empty the whole pot out. Make sure to get all the onions. The onions start to break apart, which is fine. Um, make sure you get everything in. This is very, 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 very hot. These tomatillos and onions and stuff. So be careful not to burn yourself. And up. And slowly in. I'm going to empty the pot and show you what's next. All right, everything's in the blender. All we really have to do next is salt. Whoop, missed the thing. I got about a teaspoon of salt. I like it. A little, oh, there we go. Put the lid on if I could find it. Difficult doing it with one hand. Make sure the lid's on tight. On. And then you blend it. I like to start off slow until it gets moving and then bump the speed. Now what you're looking for when you look inside is you're looking for a texture. You want it to be nice and smooth. Ah, look at that steam coming up. Peace. So you don't want any chunks. See, like I could see a chunk right there, so it's going to need more. It's pretty close. So I'm going to give it a little more of a, 
I would go around with the blender. This time I'm gonna push it up a little higher. change my name to the one-headed chef. There we go. You can see little pieces of stuff in there. I think that's part of the pepper. But overall texture is very smooth. We don't have any real chunks. Is that one right there? You could go through and take some of the chunks out if you need to. I think this is good to go. So always taste your salsa before you pour it out just to make sure the mixture's right. I used a tortilla chip or something. Um, I had to add a little more salt to mine. Um, and then pour it out and serve. We're gonna have some tacos tonight. Some bean tacos, that's what we're gonna put it on. Um, this goes good with anything of the Latin flavor. Nice tomatillo salsa, fresh. The more seeds and and I guess innards, the veins of the pepper you leave in, the hotter will be. This has a nice mild flavor because I've removed the the seeds and the veins inside. Um, you should leave me a note. Tell me know if you let me know if you liked it or not. Um, and subscribe if you like my recipes. Hope you enjoy this. Bye.